Here we have the integral x e to the x dx. So we want to use integration by parts to solve this integral. We know our integration by parts form is the integral of u times dv equals u times v minus the integral of v times du. So we need to determine what part of this is the u and what part of this is the dv. So for you, so for you, we're looking for something that is easy to differentiate. For dv, we want something easy to integrate. So we know that x is pretty easy to both differentiate and integrate. And same thing with e to the x. So what if we tried u is e to the x and dv is x dx? Then we need to find du by taking the derivative of e to the x, and that's e to the x dx. We need to find v by integrating dv. So the integral of x dx is 1 half x squared. So when we put this back into our formula, we get u times v, so e to the x times x squared over 2 minus the integral of v x squared over 2 times du, which is e to the x dx. So looking at this, we know we're going to have to solve this integral. Well, this integral looks kind of like what we started with, but only more difficult because we have a squared now. So that tells us that we didn't choose a very good u and dv. So let's try again. So now let's say, so now let's try u equals x and dv equals e to the x dx. Now we know that when we take the derivative of x, we're going to get du equals 1 dx. So that tells us we're on the right track. We've gotten something simpler. So integrating dv is the integral of e to the x dx, so v equals e to the x plus some constant c, but we this constant c can be anything, so we're going to choose to let c equal 0. So that means that v is just e to the x. So now, putting this back into our formula, we get u times v, so x times e to the x, minus the integral of v du. So e to the x times dv is just dx. So now we've gotten something simpler. We know that the integral of x e to the x dx equals x e to the x minus the integral of e to the x dx. So next, we need to solve this integral e to the x dx. And what's the integral of e to the x dx? That's e to the x. So now we have that the integral of x e to the x dx equals x e to the x minus the integral e to the x dx, which we found was e to the x. And when we integrated this e to the x dx, we have to add on that constant term. So we have that the integral of x e to the x dx equals x e to the x minus e to the x plus c. So integrating dv is the integral of e to the x dx so v equals e to the x plus some constant c, but we this constant c can be anything, so we're going to choose to let c equal 0. So that means that v is just e to the x.